Hello and welcome. I have reached 200 subscribers, what do you know? Uh, I am making a video about NS3 and how to add a user-defined component. And, but first of all, I'm gonna thank everyone who subscribed to me, everyone who messaged me, people who thanked me and sent me all these love messages, love messages, they're not love messages, but I really appreciate that I'm making a difference in people's life and I appreciate that. Um, Today, I'm going to talk about a user-defined module in NS3. This is a kind of an advanced concept. So, if you have some code that you write and you want to reuse it over and over, you may want to make it in a simple module. A very good example of that is the simple UDB, UDP uh, application that I created. Let's say we just want to have that code somewhere in a module where you can basically call it. Uh, let me show you the problem first. We have here simple UDB app. So I have these two uh, uh, files, and then I have a UDB socket example, which I run, right? And then with test Wi-Fi, this is another, this is the same, same experiment, but it's with Wi-Fi, and I have to use the same files. So that's not that good, because you wanna, you want them somewhere where you can reuse them. So here is what to do. And first of all, this is the NS3 directory, right? Um, let me just list it like that. So we have source and under source, you get all your modules. So this is, for example, the Wi-Fi module, the wave module for vehicular communication, and you know, LTE, if you ever use LTE and so on. You can add yours there. I recommend not doing that. You, you don't want to mix this up. Um, you can do it under contrib. So there is a directory called contrib, this one, for contribution. So contrib, go into contrib. You see here, I have actually my own three modules that I created, CACC, Cooperative Adaptive Cruise Control, DSRC, which is, I was trying to play with Mac protocols, and as user, just, just some tools I have. The W script here remains unchanged. So in your NS3 installation, if you go to the contrib directory, the W script file here is actually a Python file, Python script, and l l let's look at it, W script. It's a Python script that Basically, I think it basically, I say basically too much. Um, essentially, it will go over these folder by folder, and in every folder, it will execute its W script file. It's the same thing with the SRC source file, uh, directory under NS3. So let's say I want to call my component, I want to call my... Um, my uh, my module, I want to call it YouTube, right? McDyer YouTube, all right? So there you go, this is our component. Next thing we will do is we will copy the files there. Uh, I guess I could copy them right, at, right there, but let me just go scratch, no, one more scratch, and was it UDB, uh, simple UDB, and it's simple, what was it? Simple, I wanna copy these files here. Okay, now we have these two files, simple UDB application, simple UDP application, .h and .cc. But that's not what I, how I want to do it. I wanna do it in, in a subfolder. Uh, I guess you could do it this way, but I prefer doing it in a subfolder just to organize work better. So the tradition in NS3 is to call it model. So I'll just call it model. I'm gonna move these two files into model. One thing is left is to create a W script file. What is a W script file? The W script file for a module a W script file basically have the instruction on what files to compile. Let's look at this and I'll show you what that means. Um, I'm going to go to 
for example, let me just go to the NS3 directory and let's go to uh, Wi-Fi and WScript. If I look at the WScript for the Wi-Fi module, it just has the list of all the .cc and .h files formatted in a certain way, right? And uh, so that's basically and and it's and it's also a Python script. Uh, it's a Python script. So what we need to do now is to create a. Uh, where was I? I will need to go back to contrib. No, contrib is right here. And what was it called? Uh, YouTube, right? I can create the W script right here. I actually have a script that does that for me. So my own Unix script, Unix scripts, NS3. And I have a script right here. It's called make W script. So I'm going to run make W script dash dash name. Uh, I think YouTube dash dash M meaning copy that file over there. Uh, what does it say? Cannot move WScript YouTube example. Okay, there is no example. So that doesn't matter. So if I look now, I have the WScript written. So the WScript basically is a, a Python uh, script that has the function diff build. So diff is how you define a function in Python build. Let me open this in a bit more colorful way. So I'm going to open it with uh, visual, uh, visual studio. Uh, and I'm gonna tell it to do Python for this one. All right, so there's a function called build, and uh, these are the dependencies. I mean, you don't need all of these. You probably, uh, you don't need anything. Maybe maybe core and network, I guess, or applic an application. Yeah. Okay, these are the modules that this module depend on the name of the module and the file. So the source file, I have only simple UDP, UDP application, and I have simple UDP application dot H for the, for the header. I have no examples, so I don't care about this one, but if I have examples, you will also need to have a W script for the examples. So yeah, I guess it's ready now. We'll go back. And we'll do, we should do WAF configure, but because I do WAF configure with disable error, I just do make configure. Once I do that, it will scan the modules and we will be, we will be ready. It says there's a problem example. So because I don't have any examples, I am going to actually create those examples just to be nice. I'm going to do YouTube. I'm going to make dire examples. I'm going to copy scratch simple and I'm going to do UDB socket example to examples. Okay, CD examples. Let me see if there is no dependency. So I am including this like that. I will need to include it in S3 like that because it will be built as part of the NS3. Or I can also, instead, I can do YouTube module because that's my new module that I created. What happened when we build the module, it actually creates YouTube dash module header file for you. We never created that file ourselves. Let me go back to my script maker and do the same. Now, if we look into this again, uh, let me see, contrib, YouTube, and CD examples, you can see I have a W script here, which has the example. 
I do not need all these dependencies. I just made them myself. But it doesn't hurt. But they're not really needed. Unless the example requires these. All right. Go and S. Make configure. And then make. So now, if you could see, this file was created. YouTube module, it was generated. So we can include that. Now I have a module that I can reuse whenever I need to. How do we do that? Well, let's see. I can do, I can basically do WAF uh, dash dash run. Uh, contrib YouTube examples simple was it UDB like that and that will run it right but also let me look at this other example I had in the scratch and it says its name is test Wi-Fi right so I will just remove these two files delete them Delete, move to trash. Okay, what happened now? Uh, I'm gonna go back to that. Okay, simple Wi-Fi. I am including this file. So instead, let me include YouTube module.h, right? And this is, I discussed this example before in one of my videos. And if I run it now, it will use, because I have, uh, I have, uh, I have used, which one did I use? No, I didn't use, uh, did I use it? I think I used it, yeah. Simple UDP application, right? It will use the one in my uh, module. So what was it again? WAF dash dash run. It was test Wi-Fi. I used the directory name. And it says YouTube module because we need to do an S3 YouTube module. And it works, but I think I get some output here. So vim uh, simple udb 1-0. So I get the f output here. So that's how you create a custom module for yourself. You put it under contrib and then do WAF configure and you make the W script for your module. So we have a W script here, right? This is a W script file in a certain way. And uh, you don't, if you don't have examples, you could just comment out this part. And I have the examples directory here with an example. Thank you very much. And uh, again, I appreciate uh, all the comments and support I get. And uh, yeah, almost 15 minutes. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoy that and good luck.